Hey, what are you waiting on? We're getting ready to go see La Libertad's newest shopping center called The Point. It's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Shrimp Factory. Hope to see you soon here. Come enjoy the Kenjin shrimps. Gracias. Gracias. Box. Need a big TV? They got it. Wow. Neat. Neat stuff.
then I have some ice cream. Gracias. Gracias.
Hello everyone. In this video, we toured the newest shopping center in La Libertad. It's called The Point. And it has many cool stores, restaurants, and more. At one end, I was told there's going to be a clinic located there, which this side of town definitely needs. Hawaii's, the coffee cup, La Neveria, Crazy Papas, and the Shrimp Factory all have some great food and dessert options for you and the family. Yeah, I had lunch at the Shrimp Factory and what it is is a Cajun themed restaurant and in El Salvador there's not that much Cajun food down here. There's no Popeyes and all the other stuff. So I went in there for lunch and basically what they do they take like one of these large oven bags and they just throw this massive shrimp in there there's corn on the cob there's potatoes there are um, old sausage i mean and then it's all just cooked and simmered together and then they bring it out on a big platter and you've got this big platter and the hostess will open it up for you and you get your drink and i ordered some garlic bread too and then she gives you these plastic gloves that you put on. That way you can just dive right in there, into that bag, and start ripping apart that shrimp and eating everything else. I tell you, it was good. It was really, really good. I hope they get some gumbo or some jambalaya in there, uh, something for lunch that's a little bit lighter. But it was some good food. The uh, shrimp factory, you've got to go in there. You've got to check it out and uh and let me know what you think because i really enjoyed it and i'll probably be going back also the road project is ongoing in libertad the four lane project is causing mass confusion but uh, they say it's going to be done here not too far into the future and I know when it's done, it's going to make going through Libertad a lot easier for the tourists, for the locals, for everybody. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's great to see El Salvador stepping up and improving the roads. And even though it's a pain in the butt, they're improving the roads and trying to make things better. And you've got to have that if you're going to have a good infrastructure. The shopping center project that I just did a video on, the big one that's out here by us in San Blas. Uh, they're saying it's supposed to be done at the end of the year. We'll see. Uh, hopefully it will. It'll save us from having to drive into Libertad or all the way into San Salvador and fight the traffic. Which San Salvador traffic, if you've never been there, it's like Dallas-Fort Worth to me. Uh, or Memphis. You know? <laughs> is just terrible terrible traffic but you know in san salvador there's sort of that's what they've got to work with because the, all these buildings are built and so they just do the best they can there but this one should be done by the end of the year hopefully and then we'll be in business thank you so much for the likes and the comments really appreciate the subscriptions and you watching the channel there's lots of other uh, people out there that do the El Salvador content. You might want to check them out too. Uh, it's a good option if you're looking for a vacation spot or if you're looking for some place to move and retire to. Think about it. All right. So until next time, it's hasta luego, and I'll see you later. Bye.